ankle friends. Um, okay, so today I'm on my Saturday date with Miss Beans again. And today our plan is to go um go to I Like at night. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Have you shot? And we are gonna um try BHC chicken. Is that right? Yes. View of Clark Key. Too hot, need umbrella. I'm gonna walk to a matcha place now called Sujiwe. He's ready for Sujiwe because it's in all green again. I'll throw back to the last time he wore this outfit. Right here. Do you want it? Oh, okay. Hey guys, you're on our way to Marina Square. Yeah, we're gonna go eat BHC, BHC chicken. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys heard about BHC chicken. If you have not, you're probably living under a rock. But basically, this is some fried chicken chain from uh, Korea and it came to Singapore at Marina Square. And I saw on TikTok there's like long queues and all. So I'm going at um, quite an early dinner time, like 5. So hopefully there's no long queue and we can try it today. just now after like a one hour wait yeah and the man here was hungry AF so was I but yeah after we got sat down right actually the food came very fast like you order by QR code and then we ordered um soto which is the sausage and the rice cake and mozzarella cheese sticks we actually wanted the cheese balls but it was sold out so we got the cheese sticks instead and we got the chicken the brewing 
chicken got boneless because I like boneless and actually I think the sides were the nicest like the sotok and the cheese sticks were very nice like the sotok right the rice cake was very crispy then the sausage was like um quite well seasoned as in like the flavouring was nice the flavouring of the sausage I actually finished the one whole stick by myself it came in two sticks and then we got the cheese sticks. The cheese sticks were like very nice and so like because it was coated with the brewing powder, which is like cheese and vegetable powder, I think. Yeah, so it wasn't like a typical normal cheese stick. It had some like flavoring powder also. Very nice. And for the fried chicken, actually, we got the brewing chicken, right? Which is the one with the vegetable and cheese powder. Actually, I kind of regret. I wish we got the normal one because it got a bit like uh, thickening the powder after a while. Yeah, but. The chicken itself is nice lah, but like honestly I feel like if you go elsewhere that sells Korean fried chicken You can probably get something similar and you don't have to wait for like one hour Yeah, so I think I won't queue so long again, but if there's like no queue or short queue, I don't mind going again like Especially for the sides Yeah, that's my review, Mr. Bean, do you have anything to add? Seeds see here only in like 3 or 4 pieces of the meat I do eat like 70% of the remaining chicken I think I eat more, like more than 3 or 4 pieces more. Yeah Okay, see you guys So I'm going to Eyelight now Crossing the road Bye Stop. Checking out Eyelight I feel like I've been to Eyelight for a few times now But yeah, I mean what's there to do in Singapore, right? So here we are Walking to the MBS area you can see there's the Art Science Museum with some lighting. Okay, let's check it out and see what's different about this year's eyelash. Or is it just the same as it has always been? Let's go! So Mr. Mike, what do you think of eyelash so far? It's Perfect. Really? Having a lot of fun. Really? No. <laughs> so far, we saw a few exhibits, right? I mean, installations or whatever. Um, actually, it's kind of nah. It's like not much different from like previous years. TBH. If you have been to the previous highlights, I think don't bother coming. It's like, same old, same old. I mean, no offense to the artists and all that. Art is tough. I'm not an artist. Don't cancel me. But yeah, I think. I feel like I don't need to come every year to see it. If you've been once, then sure. Okay, well, good job, artist. Kudos to you. Okay, bye. <laughs> It's a bit like the bandung. It tastes like childhood. Mm. 